guys, it's Ava, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. So as we all know, it's spooky season. I've been slacking this spooky season. Usually I just post Halloween videos right off the bat, entire month of October. However, I've been busy, and I've been filming random videos, and I looked at my calendar today, and I was like, oh my god, it's October. It's time to start posting Halloween videos. So since I've been slacking, there's gonna be a couple bonus videos this month. Turn on the post notifications, because I'm not gonna tell you when they are. You're just gonna have to tap the bell and find out. Today's video is going to be a ranking scary movies that I've seen based on how scary they are. I just figured this would be a fun little Halloween video. So we're going to be ranking these on Tear Maker. I'm wearing my Chucky shirt, even though Chucky is really not that scary. I'd get up and show you, but I don't feel like it right now. So here's our list of all the movies we're going to be ranking. Some of them are creeping me out right now. So for our tiers, we have, this is supposed to be scary, mid, spooky scary, which is kind of like our creepy-ish movies. I think I pooped my pants, which is really scary. And then actually terrifying is what it sounds like. It's actually terrifying. So we're going to rank these. So I guess first I'm going to do Chucky because I'm wearing a Chucky shirt. Chucky was not scary, so I'm gonna put it in this is supposed to be scary. I could punt that little thing across the room. Like if we were doing a 1v1, me versus Chucky, Chucky's dying, not me. Up next we have The Deliverance. My grandmother watched this movie and she was like, don't waste your time, it's not scary. And I was like, okay, well let me actually watch it and form my own opinion. I don't know, like some parts were scary, but other parts that were supposed to be scary, I kind of laughed at. So I'm going to put it under... I'm between these two. I'm going to put it under mid. Next, we're going to do... Ugh! You can tell by my really dramatic reaction where I'm putting this one. Actually terrifying! You might have a different opinion than me. That is fine. Each his own. However, this movie... I literally came back from the movie theater and I had to sleep in my little brother's room because I was terrified. I don't like the way she's looking at me right now. I can't do it. Part two is coming out. I'm gonna go see that, but I'm gonna be clinging to my boyfriend the whole time, probably closing my eyes and about to cry. And I don't even get like that from horror movies, but that one, however, I don't like it. Next we have, we'll do Halloween. I don't think Halloween is scary. However, it's iconic and I love Halloween. Like I'm not ranking these based off how good the movie is. I'm ranking them off of how scary the movie is. I'm gonna put it under mid just because it's not that scary. It. This is one of my favorite movies. I love this movie, however, it is not scary at all. It freaked me out a little the first time, but I was like, that's not scary. Next, we're gonna do Us. I'm between I think I poop my pants and actually terrifying. Because when I first saw this movie, like the first time I ever watched this movie, it would keep me awake at night. Like I was so terrified. Yeah, I'm gonna put this movie under actually terrifying because it really freaked me out. <laughs> Up next, Evil Dead Rise. No, I'm gonna put it under mid. It wasn't like completely not scary. Like I guess they had like one or two good jump scares or like scary things about it. However, it didn't scare me as bad as I thought it was going to because everybody hyped up this movie and they were like, it's the scariest movie ever. Like it's so good. And I saw it after waiting months to see it. And then I was like, really? Like this is the scariest movie ever? Go watch Long Legs, go watch Smile. Like go watch something that's actually scary. Don't go watch Long Legs. I hate that movie. I was gonna say we'll get into that later, but we will get into that right now. Long Legs. I hate this movie with a burning passion. I think this is the dumbest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. However, it is actually terrifying and it did its job as a horror movie. I think that this movie has some very negative energy around it. That's just my personal experience and my opinion. That's what a bunch of people who I know have seen this movie have said about it. Negative energy, did not feel right after seeing it. From the start, I felt so off in that movie theater. I was just like, this is not right. And then the movie completely freaked me out and it just wasn't a good vibe. If you liked it and you don't have the same opinion as me, fine, but like me personally, I did not like it very much. I think it was an amazing horror movie. Probably will never watch it again. It was just really weird. Next we have, what one is that? The Babadook. <laughs> this is such a stupid ranking. I'm gonna put it, I think I pooped my pants. <laughs> Even though this movie was like so stupid and not that scary, freaked me out a little bit. And I would lay awake some nights and just be like, what if that thing's coming to get me? Up next, we have The Turning. I like this movie, however, I like had to look up an ending explained video both times that I saw it, but I'm gonna put it under spooky scary. It was a really good movie though, and maybe I just dumb and didn't get the point, or maybe you guys also felt like that too. Sightless. I loved this movie so much. I still love this movie so much. This is honestly, I'm not gonna spoil it at all. If you have never seen Sightless, it's on Netflix. Go watch it right now. Talk to me. Ooh. I'm gonna put it under I think I pooped my pants. Just because it's not as scary as these ones up here were for me, but like, this one freaked me out. Like that one was creepy, but I love that movie. It's so good. Next I'm gonna do Tarot. This movie pissed me off. Like it was good until it wasn't. You know what I mean? Like the ending severely pissed me off. It just like, it wasn't the ending I was expecting, but not in a good way. You know, like you don't want to predict the end of a movie, but it's also like, again, just my opinion. I'm not a film critic. Don't come for me, but 
I'm just gonna put it under mid terrifier. Um, it is what it says it is. It's terrifying. I know this movie is known for being like one of the scariest, goriest horror movies. So like, it's no surprise that it's up there. But like the way that little clown man freaks me out, terrifies me as the title says, no pun intended. Me and my boyfriend were watching Terrifier. I've been wanting to see these movies for like the past year. But this year I finally decided to watch it because the new one's out, right? And we're gonna go see the new one. So I have to catch up on the first two. We watched the first 15 minutes of the first one and then he had to go home. But like, even just those 15 minutes, like I had a nightmare the next night. And then the next day when he came over and we like watched the whole movie, like I didn't have a nightmare again, but I was just like, what the hell? Like I was so freaked out, but yeah, it was, it was creepy. And from what everyone is saying on TikTok and all the reviews about it, like I'm pretty sure two and three are gonna be up there with that. Scream, I love Scream so much as you can probably tell by my nails. Love that movie. However, it's not that scary. It is scarier than Child's Play or like Chucky and It though. So I'm gonna put it at mid. Actually, no, I think it's on the same level as It. I'll just put them down there. Nightmare on Elm Street. This movie actually like almost gave me nightmares. Like I thought it was gonna give me nightmares. No pun intended again, but like it didn't. Thank God, because I would have woke up thinking that was real, but it just like, it freaked me out. So I'm gonna put it under spooky scary. Next we have, I'm just gonna start going in order. Barbarian, I think I pooped my pants. That movie, so weird, so creepy, really freaked me out. Up next we have Viv, mm, I'm gonna probably say this wrong, Vivarium. Vivarium. I don't know. This was one that was on my watch list for years before I actually watched it. I actually watched it this year for the first time. This movie was terrifying, but not actually terrifying. Like tear under actually terrifying. It freaked me out so bad, but I was like, what, like, what if that happened to me? Like, what if Glitch in the Matrix, like, that happened in my life? I was just thinking to myself when I was watching, I was like, this is terrifying. Like, what if this happened in, like, real life? I wouldn't know what to do with myself. Up next, we have Run Rabbit Run. I hate to put them all in the same row in, like, like, in a row of doing them, but this one is also going and I think I pooped my pants just because it was so creepy and it was about like a little girl so like anything with like children too is like again if you haven't seen it go watch it it's on Netflix it's really weird really creepy up next we have Midsommar Midsummer, Midsommar I don't really know how to say it I've asked a bunch of people and they all give me different answers I'm gonna put this one under I think I pooped my pants because the gore in this movie terrifying Florence Pugh chef's kiss love her but yeah this one really freaked me out. Annabelle. I'm gonna put this under actually terrifying because I've been scared of this movie since I was a little kid. I didn't watch it when I was a little kid, but I saw the trailer on the school bus in fifth grade. You know what that does to a child. I was terrified. I didn't end up watching it until like two, three years ago. It scared the crap out of me. And then I watched it again and it scared the crap out of me. I watched it knowing it was based off a true story too. So it's like actually terrifying. You can stay up there. Hereditary. That movie, I was not ready for that movie. This was not at all what I thought it was gonna be. Before I watch movies, I don't watch the trailers usually. Like I try not to just so it's like a surprise when I go see it. I watched this not knowing at all what it was about. And let's just say I was surprised. If you've seen Hereditary, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but wow, just wow. Okay, this is gonna, I'm gonna put it under actually terrifying because the first time I saw it, I was just like, like jaw on the floor, like in shock, did not know it was gonna take that route. Next we have The Sixth Sense. Did I just stutter? Sixth Sense. Yeah, I'm gonna put this one under spooky scary because again, if you've never seen it, go watch it. I would love to watch this movie again for the first time. It's so good. So yeah, go watch it if you haven't. I'm not gonna say anything other than that, but I'm gonna put it under spooky scary. Get out. This scared the absolute crap out of me. I almost didn't sleep. Again, I'm not gonna spoil it. Okay, I'm gonna spoil it. So if you don't want me to spoil it for you, skip to this time. Spoilers are starting now, skip ahead. When he was basically like inside his own brain and he couldn't get out and he was like watching his life go on, but he couldn't, like he was just floating in the darkness seeing things happen and not being able to like control himself like that is genuinely my biggest fear so yeah that's gonna go in I think I poop my pants all right next we have Pearl this movie surprised me um this wasn't really what I thought it was gonna be this is the sequel to X I probably should have put X on here if I were to put X on here it would go under spooky scary so this one's gonna go under the same thing because like some of the gore in this movie like really freaked me out next we have Saw I'm gonna put this under I think I poop my pants because that's also one of my biggest fears like just waking up not knowing where you are It's just like the whole mind game of oh you have to get out before like something really bad happens to you like made my stomach turn And lastly we have in the tall grass this movie Terrified me and it still does I'm gonna put it under I think I poop my pants because it wasn't as scary as these like I've said But it was really creepy. But yeah, that is my ranking for all of these movies I'm gonna read off what we have. So in this is supposed to be scary. We have Chucky it and scream 
love them. They're just not that scary to me. In mid, we have The Deliverance, Halloween, Evil Dead Rise, and Tarot. Again, love them. They're just not that scary, but they're slightly scarier than the other ones. Spooky Scary, which is our creepier movies. We have The Turning, Sightless, Nightmare on Elm Street, The Sixth Sense, and Pearl and X, but I didn't put that on here. These ones creep me out. Again, I would love to watch this for the first time again. It's so good. And in I Think I Poop My Pants, which is our second scariest tier, as you already know. I don't know why I feel the need to explain that to you. Like you don't know when you haven't been watching the video, but Babadook, I hate that movie. Talk to me, Barbarian. V mm, yeah, you get it. Run Rabbit Run, Midsommar, Midsummer. Why am I so bad at saying titles? Wow. Get Out, Saw, and in the tall grass. And then in our actually terrifying tier, we have the scariest worst movies I've ever seen. Not worst movies, but we have Smile, Us, Long Legs, Terrifier, Annabelle, and Hereditary. So yeah, that is my ranking for horror movies. Just ones that I've seen so far. This isn't all the ones I've seen. This is just a handful like ones that I could think of off the top of my head. So that was my ranking for all of these movies. Let me know if you guys agree. If you don't agree, let me know what you would put where or if you've even seen any of these movies or if you've seen other movies. Or leave me horror movie suggestions. Like I swear I'm not just trying to get you to comment. Like I'm genuinely wondering if this was like a good tier ranking or not. <laughs> maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Hope you guys like this video. If you like this video and you're excited for my other spooky season videos, hit like and subscribe and follow me on everything else. Also turn on my post notifications. Like I mentioned, there's gonna be bonus videos this month. So you definitely don't wanna miss those, I hope. But yeah, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. And again, let me know your rankings. I will see you guys in my next video. All right. I love you guys. Bye.